Good morning guys, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Valeria and I'm doing fitness and weight loss related content. And today I'm coming to you with another what I eat in a day on a cut. Uh, this is my, uh, I think, this is my 16th week of cut. I had a small diet break in between and I have four more to go. I dropped my calories a bit because the weight was pretty stubborn, I would say. I for the last four, four weeks, I didn't notice any movement on a scale, but that's fine. I do not get discouraged. I just continue with my plan. And today I'm going to show to you what I eat in a day for about 1600 hundred calories. So let's start. <laughs> Okay, this is it. This is a super easy recipe and it has very, very little carb or like very little flour. I use 10 gram flour per portion. I will make two portions uh, for me and my boyfriend. Okay, this is ready. Now I'm going to make a yogurt for topping. This is basically just 100 gram of yogurt mixed with protein. Okay, now into baking. Uh, I bake on a little bit of ghee butter, so because this is not just like a normal pancakes which you bake on a dry pan, this is more like a cotta cheesy ricotta pancake. So there, there needs a little bit of uh, butter or oil. I do just a tiny bit and I will add every time I uh, add new pancakes. So it is lunchtime and for lunch I'm going to cook like a warm kind of salad with a um, veal uh, steak and some veggies and uh, feta cheese and a very nice dressing based on mayonnaise but it will be very little, we will try to dissolve it uh, with olive oil and balsamic vinegar but it will be nice. So uh, let's start with meat, I will put salt and pepper on it and just fry like a steak it is already pre-sliced meat and then I will assemble the salad itself. I will not add any carp, I think it will be enough like that. I'm adding ghee. So while, now while my steaks are resting, uh, I will make a sauce and the sauce I will take a small jar so and we will mix we will mix uh, mayo, mustard, vinegar, salt, pepper and olive oil to basically mix it, I don't know, one tablespoon of everything and just uh, shake it in a jar and the dressing is ready. vinegar
Okay, so my warm salad is ready. I'm looking forward to try it. I never did it recipe, but I think it will be perfect because of my niece's uh, olive oil dressing. So let's try. So I wanted guys to give you a little bit of an update on my cut because last time I did a video when I was on 11th week of my cut and I was a preparing for the diet break so I accomplished 12 weeks of calorie deficit then I did like about 10 days of a diet break because my mother was visiting me here from Belarus so we did some nice things um, went to restaurants ate also home cooked meals but i was tracking all the time and i try to be uh, about 22 2300 calories so not some crazy uh, um, overeating basically the diet break is when you go back up to your calories to your maintenance not to give opportunity uh, to your body to adapt because uh, the body tend to adapt assume one amount of calories for the whole 12 weeks, the body will uh, adapt to that. That was your calorie deficit. It can become potentially uh, your maintenance. And actually the same works vice versa. So if you're like overeating 500 calories, at some point after 12 weeks of overeating, body can start adapting to that amount of calories and take it as uh, your maintenance calories. Yeah, I took a diet break, it was nice, and also it was nice mentally for refeed and just to eat some foods which I wanted to eat and to eat a little bit more. I was also like training during that time and doing my steps, so all was good. I think I didn't even gain any weight or like even any water, so the weight kind of stayed the same, maybe one kilogram um, more. Um, after that, it's been it's already fourth week of um, calorie deficit after the diet break my weight was very stubborn so i didn't see any progress on scale so there are some fluctuations in between but if i take the number uh, from after my 12 weeks uh, deficit and number now they're almost the same i think i hit a new low yesterday or the day before uh, and then today it kind of again <laughs> reverted back so um, yeah it's it's been a bit tricky but uh, i'm just sticking to my plan i reduced my calories a little bit just to accelerate a bit so i try to be around 11 600 a week which is 1600 a day plus minus again uh, yeah just high protein moderate carb and moderate fat and that basically it so here is my result from uh, 12 weeks that how it looked like after 12 weeks of dieting and here how I look now basically also just to also show you a bigger picture over four years over past four years i lost about 20 kilograms of uh, body fat so this is this is a bigger picture <laughs> and i'm uh, to be honest pretty happy with that i feel like i'm finally on the finish line like i will finish that cut i still have four weeks to go and then we're going for vacation to italy so there will be again italy travel vlogs and <clears throat> I hope I will not do any like drastic cuts anymore. So I would like also to maintain a little bit and to gain some strength at the gym because the further we're going into cut, the less energized I feel like this week was very bad with training. And um, I just try to stick to my cardio like in steps. And sometimes I can skip like my weightlifting sessions just because I don't have energy for that not, which actually not what you're supposed to be doing so that's why yeah to be deep into calorie deficit um feel already a bit less energy <sighs> this is just for time being so i hope i can kind of 
gain back my strength and uh, gain back my energy for the gym as soon as I will go back up on my maintenance. I really, really, really looking for very dedicated uh, clients. Uh, as you know, I opened up my online coaching business. I actually now already reduced my um, IT job to 60%. So my manager was kind enough to approve that. So I decided to try it out and just uh, work more on my business to focus more on the content on my Instagram. Also, I did a new branding. You can see it on uh, my YouTube um, channel art already and also on my Instagram. I worked with a brand specialist for the whole month and I'm very happy how it all turned out. And um, yeah, so I'm super excited and I think um, with, the more, with me more time putting into my own business, um, it will become better, the content will become better and yeah, I'm super excited. So if you're looking for an online coach, if you're struggling with weight loss, accountability, muscle growth, your nutrition, workouts, I cover it all in my program. So please apply, um, I linked it uh, down below. I will be happy to jump with you on the discovery call and just to get to know you better and to see if we are fit. Okay, it's dinner time and for dinner I'm going to do my favorite uh, dish or how favorite? It's just a very strategic dish if you're on a cut. It is wild cut salmon with zucchini and uh, creamy tomato sauce. I think I already showed it a couple of times. So basically I'm using such a wild cut salmon. Frozen and it's defrozen. I will remove it from skin. Here we have zucchini. Here we have zucchini, onion and bell pepper. And then basically I stir fry everything on a pan and put some sour cream or light cream you can put and such a tomato puree or tomato paste. I it in actually puree. Um, for more taste and then some garlic and herbs. finish the day with a cup of tea and a spoon of honey. I think I'm about 15-50 uh, <laughs> calories. Um, I'm a bit hungry so it started to be <laughs> really hard to keep up with that cut but um, yeah tomorrow will be a new day and uh, some more food <laughs> I guess so mm -hmm. 